Hello and welcome to Reality TV Cringe. I am one of your hosts, Delia, here with my real tight homegirl and my daughter-in-law, Beatrice. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Hi. All right. Go Before on. we begin, we do want to remind you to please hide your wife and hide your kids. This is a politically incorrect podcast. We say bad words. We have stupid ideas and takes. And so if you're a sad city elf, you might want to find yourself another dumpster baby. But if you're down and you're ready to party and have a little cocktail... Ooh. Welcome to this dumpster. Yeah, and if you are down and ready to party, be sure to follow us on Instagram at Reality TV Cringe. If you're not following us already, wow. I'm offended. Wow. And also join us on Patreon, patreon.com slash reality TV cringe. We got so much bonus content up on there, uncensored video podcast. It's lit over there. Wow. Okay. And if you are watching on YouTube, please don't forget to like and comment and share and subscribe because every little thing you do is magic and it helps us to grow the dumpster and by the way welcome to all of our new viewers i know hi a lot of new subscribers and so we're really grateful thank you thank you here's why i'm pissed all right go because off. i think i reported i don't know three weeks ago or something four weeks ago that andy cohen had made a live mm -hmm. and in this live i think he was on the way to the vanderpump rules reunion yeah in this live he's like you guys I saw the last seven episodes of Vanderpump Rules, and I'm not the producer of this show. I don't have any vested interest to tell you this. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. But those last seven episodes were fire. <laughs> I mean, shit really ramps up. It is so good. I am not just saying that. I know you guys think I say that all the time, but this time I mean it. Liar. You fucking dirty liar. <laughs> and then I learned that next week is the finale. Yeah. The finale is next week. I know. I thought we were going to have like 20 episodes or something like that. And then the reunion. It was supposed to be like a <laughs> shitload of episodes. Dude, I am gooped. Maybe they removed some. I don't think they removed anything. I am gooped that he thinks these last seven episodes were a ramp up or um a dash toward excellence. It's so fucking <laughs> shitty. It's so boring. I, I've been waiting for it to get better Beatrice I know I really thought it would thank god we have the valley what would we do without the valley what would we do dude VPR sucked this season it sucked period bad. point blank yeah this episode especially because I watched it yesterday so boring and I was texting you you haven't watched it yet I was like this sucks I'm like this is so boring what are we gonna talk about there's literally nothing and you're like oh my god I'll have to watch it and then you text me today it's boring AF <laughs> it is <laughs> I'm like, you have to think, well, what can we even discuss? I mean, it's the same thing that we have been discussing. Yeah. Sheena's a fucking turd and a hypocrite and a <laughs> terrible friend. Yeah. Tom Sandoval is the worst. He sucks. The so worst. Bad. He's the worst. Well, you don't want to listen to him sing? No, I don't. <laughs> God, his mother in the crowd. I know. She, what? People are making memes already what? online. God. They're like, this is what her retirement was spent on. His <laughs> dumbass fan. Is she being abducted by aliens? <laughs> like this sort of glazed over She's like, look? Like, oh, like, is she so happy for her son? Or is she just like, oh my God, Tom, is this what you've been spending your time on? Yeah, it is. That was wild and kind of cute. But this whole episode blue i know and then we have a season finale next week still in san francisco i guess dumb af now before we get into it we're just going to do a quick recap i think yeah. i don't think i can talk about it for very long no um i do want to say there was some news in the vpr universe this week apparently they're going to be pausing filming for vpr yeah and I guess that's because Ariana's filming Love Island or something. Yeah, she's going to be the new host of Love Island. Oh. And I think she's going to be in Fiji until the end of summer. So wow. traditionally, Vanderpump Rules films over the summer like we've seen this season. But now they're going to have to wait. Mm. Um, there is some speculation that maybe they're going to put them on a longer pause because this season was so fucking bad. Canceled. Maybe canceled. I mean, but where are they going to go from here? Mm. Where are they going to go from here? I mean, unless like Brock and Sheena have their own scandal. I mean, really. I would watch that. I would watch because that. Because I hate him so much, especially after this episode. Or like Schwartz getting more cringy and like I dating don't care. more 20 year old. He can't be more cringy. Him and Katie getting back together. Like stuff like oh, that would be crazy. I guess. But, but I doubt that's it. that's never going to happen. Mm -hmm. I just don't. I really, unless they bring in like a new cast. Or, or Rachel. 
Okay. If Rachel, okay, if Rachel came back, Girl. I would want to be there, especially if Ariana was there yeah. and Tom was there. That would be I crazy. would love to see the dynamic. And you just know Sheena and Lala would be Team Rachel. Oh yeah. Well, and I heard because they're pausing season twelve right now. I heard that Sheena and Lala are like freaking out. Or, like people are on Twitter and Instagram saying maybe this is why Sheena and Lala have been crazy like online, and like maybe that's why they were crazy in the reunion because that this is their paycheck. So yeah. now it's paused for an indefinite amount of time. Mm-hmm. Mm, maybe they're broke. I mean, out of sight, out of mind. I think the only reason people listen to shenanigans, Ugh. Sheena Shea's podcast, yeah. is because she's on VPR and it does really well during Vanderpump Rules. But yeah. if there's no Vanderpump Rules and we don't see you and we're not downloading apples, right? then <laughs> why are we thinking about you? Like, we're not thinking about no. you. And we're not thinking about you, Lala. Mm-mm. No, ma'am. Yeah, so I did hear that they're kind of freaking out. And I think some folks are speculating that Lala in particular is pissed because she has to put her paychecks and her life on pause for Ariana. Oh, wow. Yeah, and she's so jealous of Ariana. And also because she wanted to show her pregnancy on camera because I think she tried to plan a Virgo baby. Uh, Nobody cares. You care. I mean, I care about the astrology, <laughs> yeah. but I don't care about her talking about her being pregnant I and how she wants don't. to be a mom. Like, that's great. That's for the valley, which I also don't want you on. No, because the valley is lit enough. Yes. <laughs> it's so good. Oh God, I can't wait to get to that. I know. But yeah, so there was that news in the VPR world and I don't care. I don't either. <laughs> Take a long ass break. Like figure your shit out. <laughs> for real. Honestly. Yeah. I had such high hopes coming into this season. Yeah. And they are all dashed. Oh, yeah. And a lot of people have commented on our YouTube and online and Reddit, whatever, saying that Vanderpump had been going downhill Mm -hmm. for a little while until Scandival kind of revived it. And he said that too. So, I mean, unless they got something else going on, nobody wants to see a bunch of people being fake. Yeah, they need new people. Yeah. And the fact of the matter is, is as you get older and you start hitting your 40s, like you do slow down. Right. You do start families. You do start taking things seriously. You're not fucking people in the bathroom, a la Jax. Right. Like you're trying to live your life in a different way. And that's just not as exciting. Right. We'll they go need, on the valley. They need new blood. Yeah, yeah. I don't I don't want any of them. On, maybe Katie. Like, if VPR yeah. goes away, I would love to see Katie on the valley. With I, who, though? Schwartz? Yeah. No. Anybody else that I'd like to see survive this? Mm-hmm. I like no. James. James. James and Allie would And be Allie cool. might be fun yeah. on the valley. Yeah. I but, would like them. Anyway, let's get into the episode. We are on season <sighs> 11, episode 14, <sighs> entitled For Old Tom's Sake. Okay. That's what it was. And they just go to San Francisco. Like the whole half of the episode is them preparing to go to San Francisco. Sheena goes over to Kyle Chan's jewelry shop and she talks with Sandoval where he apologizes and she cries and she forgives him. Like immediately. Of course she does. It's like so stupid. The pendulum swing with her like back and forth. Like Mm -hmm. pick a position and stay with it. Just last week he's screaming at you. Yeah. At James's house. Yeah. And it's Ariana who's hugging you and coming to get you. Yeah. And like are we to believe the very next day you go and see him at Kyle Chan's and you're like I love you. You're like my best friend. You've been so good to me. (laughs) I miss you. It's been three months and I haven't gotten to talk with you or hang out with you and you haven't sent me any money. I feel bad. (laughs) Like, that's really all it is. It's so pathetic. Although, I will say, I am kind of looking forward to seeing her horrible performance at Kyle Chan's San Francisco thing. Yeah, I mean, I can't wait. What is she going to be performing? Apples? I think she's going to open with Apples. And Good as Gold. And maybe, yeah, Good as Gold. Those are her (laughs) two songs with the 27s. May. Zing. Yes. God, just a pantheon, a cavalcade of narcissists. Yeah. Just a cuddle puddle. Of narcissists. 100%. And then when they get to San Francisco and they go on like some boat ride and nobody's dressed appropriately because these are all a bunch of LA losers (laughs) who don't know how to dress in long sleeves for San Franciscan weather, which I mean, I love San Francisco. Have you ever been there? Yes. It's so great. My first husband was um, from Oakland. Oh, yes. And so I know. (laughs) And so when I went um, to visit family and stuff, we often went to San Francisco. Yeah, Yeah, it used to be awesome. Yeah. Now, not so much. I've heard bad things. Yeah. <laughs> and we did, we did watch Welcome to Plathville. Yeah. And um, we saw some weird things. Yeah. A yeah. little bit. It's gone downhill. A little bit. Allegedly. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But then while they're, after they get off the boat, Ariana and Brock talk. 
for like some weird forced yeah thing. i'm like why <laughs> why are you two walking together like that know. wouldn't happen in nature or god's natural kingdom no and like brock's telling her again the same shit over and over again you need to forgive tom get over it already Stop being an angry, bitter bitch is basically what he's saying. Forgiveness is for you. Like, but also my is wife. The poison you drink and it kills you. <laughs> Unforgiveness kills you. Like Brock, you're so dumb. And I just love how eloquent Ariana was. I and know. I can't be as eloquent, but she says something like, look, all of my feelings are valid mm -hmm. and there is power and importance in each and every one of those feelings, whether it's fear, whether it's rage, whether it's loneliness, whether it's sadness, whatever it is, it's power. Yeah. And I'm sick of people talking shit about female rage. Yes. We deserve to have our female rage. Yes. And I don't hear anybody complaining when it's male rage. And then Brock's like, well, what do you mean male rage? I mean... <laughs> I don't even understand the concept of male rage. Okay. All the things Ariana could have said in that moment. I can know. you think of a few things? Because I can. I know the editor like does a quick montage of the boys behaving badly. But yes. like, Brock, you dumb fucking shit. Well, you sent me a tweet earlier today about his DV charge. Like people being like, okay, you want to talk about male rage? What about your DV charge? Yeah. Brock. Duh. Stupid ass. Do you really want to ask that question? All the times you yell at Sheena for wanting to go home to their your daughter and tuck her in at night. Yeah. And for her OCD and for her mom who's facilitating your entire life, you piece of shit, speedo wearing asshole. <laughs> Clout goblin. With your fucking weird haircut. And he's the new worm with a mustache. 100%. That's who Brock is i've never liked him mm -mm. i've been on record mm -hmm. and i stand vindicated this is how i feel about it well your feelings are valid thank you <laughs> your female rage is thank valid you. it's power <laughs> it's my power source <laughs> And then we also have Lala criticizing Dan, like the whole episode. Like first off, she says Why? it's weird that Dan's dating somebody like Ariana. You know what's weird? <laughs> Lala is dating Randall Emmett. I know! Is I like fucking Randall it. Emmett. Like laying down in bed with Randall Emmett what and having a whole ass frog. child with Randall Emmett. Yeah. That's what's odd. Yeah. She's Lala. jealous, dude. She's so jealous. So jealous because Dan Green is attractive. With envy. Dan's attractive. He's probably got a big old dick. He's dicking Ariana down. You can see it in her face. She's, she's so calm, honey. happy. She's calm. She's, she's loving that. Yes. With her man. When he took out his hair, that I was know. a surprise to me. And I'm like, ooh, you daddy. Like that? I was I was looking at like, that. Are you freaky? You well, like I that? thought he was a very handsome he's man. Very handsome. I like his physique as well. He's mm -hmm. a strong looking person, but he's not overly buff like Brock. I know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I think he's a handsome man. And yeah. Lala cannot fucking stand it mm -mm. she thinks it's weird that he's dating her because she just got out of a relationship and then later in the episode she's like saying that it's weird that he won't hang out with the group when he's there in san francisco he's there to bang his girlfriend who's a long distance lover and he's there to hang out with her while she's in san francisco with her fucking ex yeah he's there to support her he is a good man savannah what a concept lala. yeah lala knows nothing about that life she's so bitter dude and then we have katie and tom at the end at the 1920s party for brock which is the dumbest thing ever but schwartz comes up and is like hey you know it'd be really cool if like just you know just tonight we just fucked one more time I was kind of shocked at that. Were you? Yeah, a little bit. Well, was he proposing that they fuck or yeah. was he proposing that they just get in bed and scroll? He was wanting a one night. He literally said a one night stand. He yeah. was wanting to fuck. He was taught because she's looking hotter than ever. Yes. Like she's living her best life. Yes. He's so insecure about it because he's dying his hair fucking blonde all he has is joseph yeah <laughs> That's yeah what i'm saying joseph and these 20 year old chippies mm -hmm. that don't care that he's got a broken dick and will bang him once but then don't want to come back right so he wants somebody who's familiar who can touch him like nobody else can well i thought it was very sweet what i, I did i thought it was very sweet and very That's charming crazy. no i mean i just i thought it was like the Katie and Schwartz that we used to see back in the day, like when they were getting along. And actually, Katie was on Watch What Happens Live. And she was like, that's who we were. That's why I stayed for as long as I did, because we had this sort of essential rapport, sense of humor, a little bit of passive aggressiveness, but it was fun for us. It was just everything else that sucked mm -hmm. and it was unsustainable. But she's like, at our core, that's what works for us. And so I could feel that that was sweet, but... I mean, of course she said no. Yeah, she's like, ew, no. Why would she? 
But a lot of people on Twitter and stuff were saying that she only said no because the cameras were on. That she probably went and banged him later. Well, I think she said on Watch What Happens Live that that did not happen. But yeah, like, of course she'll say it won't could happen. could be sure? She could do what the fuck she wants. She's That's a totally single fine. lady yeah. at the fucking peak of her beauty. Yeah. She can have who she wants. Totally. Even, even if it's Schwartz. <laughs> <Tom> Schwartz. <laughs> even I if it's know. Schwartz. Why? Oh, my God. He dresses in those 1950s <laughs> bowling shirts. He's like, got no why? game whatsoever, Katie. None. You could have anybody... And she knows it. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. What a power position. Yes. When a woman knows her own value in this world, you cannot stop her. No, man. And she's got the pick of the litter, too. Girls and men. Yep. What does Schwartz have? Nobody. Nothing. His plants. His bar. <laughs> What a loser. <laughs> loser. <laughs> was there anything else? Well, there was the final conversation between Sheena and Tom. Yeah. When they Tom hugged. asks her to go outside and look at the lights and have a talk. And I'm Sheena sorry. counsels him on how he should feel <laughs> and what he should say because he doesn't know how to say the right thing ever. And Sheena does advocate for Ariana a little bit yeah. by saying, like, do you think that she froze her eggs just for her? No, she did that for you. For the life with you. The home was for a life with you. Like she did all that because she loved you. Yeah. You don't have to say anything to that. That's just what it is. But can you think about that? And maybe there's a way. Maybe there's a world where you can apologize to her sincerely. He won't. He won't. He doesn't know how to. No. He will only do that in his interstitials, in his blue blazer with his fake tears, his visine tears. 100%. Yeah. She's like setting him up for like a redemption arc, but he literally can't do it. No, he's, he's not he's capable. incapable. Yeah. Yeah. It's so cringe. But then she gives him a hug and they cry and it's like, whatever. But I'm like, why? Why do you even care about this dope? And this is why Ariana later or earlier in the episode is like, rolling her eyes yeah sipping her drink and she's like this is fucking weird like why do you even care about this guy who does not give a shit about you mm -hmm. the only reason he's pretending to care about you right now is because he's he needs an in back into the group mm -hmm. and you're letting him do it and as soon as he's back in and he's the number one guy in the group he's not gonna think twice about you nope. i was with this guy for 10 years i know how he actually feels about you yep but she won't listen no she won't because mm -hmm. it's sheena shea yeah <laughs> And she's a male sympathizer. Mm. And that's what Katie said. Mm. And it's true. It's just facts. It's just objectively yeah. true. She always sides with the guys. Like Lisa Vanderbump. Yep. Yeah. That was it. There's like literally nothing else. Nothing else? I mean, there was like a dinner with Ariana and Dan. That was it. Uh, okay. Like nobody cares. Right. All of it was like a blur. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. what did I even watch? Yeah. Just a bunch of talking. It's really bad when you turn off the episode and can't remember anything, anything you just watched yeah yeah very cringe <laughs> <laughs>